Hello everybody, Brento Guy here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, so last episode we got to do our first two classes. I switched over to using a remote control because I think the action is going to be faster than what I can do on a keyboard, so I think I'm going to just go with, uh, with remote control and see how that works out for us, right? So we will try to learn all the buttons and <laughs> all over again. Well, it's fine. I, I think we'll we'll do okay. We'll do just fine. So before I thought you had to like look at the door and like hit X or something, but it looks like you just gotta run into the damn thing. Which is kind of nice. All right, so we gotta go meet the professor, so that way we can go to Hogsmeade. I think. A lot of stairs here, man. A lot of stairs. Alright, so now we're outside. And... Gotta run this way. There's a kitchen. Alright, let's begin this quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. <laughs> I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, <laughs> you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank nice. you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh... Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide <coughs> array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Nice. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. It's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, Very do well. it. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Mm. Let's go Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Salo is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ooh, a bunch of beer. We all like bunch of beer. Alright, 
Alright, so now... Got a new quest. This one right here. Uh, locate on the map. Alright, so we're not that far. Oh, there are other things in there too in that, that book that we had. Uh, yeah, that was the, the quest thing. There's challenges. Collection. Inventory. Gear. Got gloves. Let's wear some gloves. You can get standard Harry Potter eyeglasses. No glasses. Got any cool hats? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can dig that. I can dig that. Scarfs? We do have a scarf. Eh, uh, uh, yeah, we'll go without the scarf. We just got the, the hoodie and that that we're already wearing, right? Yeah. And all that other stuff. Cool. Very cool. What's this? Oh, that's the quest. Welcome to Hogsmeade. And Professor. And that's what we're doing. Alright, so let's go do the Professor thing. <clears throat> I just wanted to check that out very quick because, uh, you know. Hey, look at Kitty. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> Pet the kitty. Ah, there you are. Yes, here I you am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes Reparo. things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. All right. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Which is the task, Professor? Collect flying pages near a broken statue. All right. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Probably has something to do with this thing right here. Uh... Lumos. Leviosa. Aha! That would be the one. Broken, is there more? Oh, so there's gonna be more. Let's see if we can find some more. Flu flames. Okay, so they all look like they're all gonna be over here by the looks of it. Can't jump over there. Oh, here. Uh, that's probably one of the statues I would have to fix. But he hasn't taught me how to Let fix it. Right Near the defense against the art towers. Okay, is this where I use this flu powder crap? 
Revelio. Hmm, spells. Interesting. I don't know any more. Oh. How do you use these things? So I did see another purple bubble, I think, over there. There's a chest here. Akio! Where's that Revelio one? Revelio. Oh, that's all. <clears throat> All right, so you can use these uh, flu power things to uh, travel as long as you open your map and run around. But we can do this. So there should be another statue here somewhere. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Oh, but it has to go on the side. I don't want to go outside. What are those statues? If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Uh, why everyone everybody? hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what mm. I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Uh... Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. 
I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's keep looking for this statue. Oh, I'm out of the purple area. Is it outside here? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, this is where I was when I got the first one. Handy resource around? indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Surely those were curdle. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I do. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. Rebellion. That's a flying page. So that was the page of the book I got I had to find, I guess. Let me go outside. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstone. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Yeah, you've Good said luck. this before. And I shall see you soon. But didn't I complete them? No. Oh, did it take me off the other one? Okay, that's what happened. Near the broken statue. Oh, okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got yeah. it. Awesome. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Nice. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Damn, son, huh? A lot different on uh, with the controller. It's not just spacebar you gotta hit. <laughs> mm, it's not bad though. It's pretty good. So we can repair crap. That's good it. stuff. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. 
<clears throat> allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repairer! Perhaps a Jewish lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Yeah, but weren't there pieces here before? Where did they all go? <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's mm, gobstones. That's too funny. Alright, well, let's uh, go to the next quest now. Let's go to Hogsmeade. We'll leave the, uh, the other stuff alone there for now. Alright, this way. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. Yes. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. It is. I haven't left the castle <laughs> since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Nice. Let's head off to Hogsmeade. Very cool. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. <laughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Uh, Professor Weasley section. came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Really? Cool. We may as well collect stuff along the way, I guess, if we see it. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already nice. seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like we already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. <coughs> they think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. My god. We gotta run all the way over there. a chance to explore the castle. A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. <laughs> I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? 
You still haven't told me how you became <coughs> so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Okay, so Buddy died, so that's why I can see them now. So that makes sense. I guess that's how we know he is dead, dead for sure because they witnessed a Mr. tragedy, Moon. tragic death. Caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <laughs> what did, Mr. Moon? Huh? Demi guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Alrighty. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Apparently, these things you should collect them Mr. too when you see them. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve. Is that how you collect them? Yeah. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, uh, there was a page here. What was that? Revelio. There you go. Nice. Sorry, man, just clicking pages. Run away. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. Oh, we there's all another one there. Sorry if I cut your, your speech off there, man. I'm just clicking crap. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a <clears> list <throat> of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. All right. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Uh, damn. Okay. A lot of crap in here. Tombs and scrolls. Ollivanders. Okay, so those are the three places I do have to go. Okay. That's not point. We'll start with there since it's like right in front of us. Uh, right here. mind I am pardon me sir I'm here for the spell crafts professor Weasley ordered Matilda student I thought I might be seeing you soon I am the proprietor here Thomas Brown I Thomas take it Brown. you've had a conjuring lesson then I'm afraid I haven't yet sir ah but you will soon enough it is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. 
Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. If that you're interested, easy. feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Yeah, I'm a little poor old man. I'll uh I'll get back to you on that one. Alright, so all of Anders was down here. Uh, let's go on the map again and we'll just mark it to make sure we know where the hell we're going. So up here. Merlin's blooming beard, not again. <laughs> oh, a relaxed jumper. Apparently it's better than what I'm wearing. Uh, where would that be in? Here? Plus four to defense. Sure. I'll take that. Let's use this. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. <laughs> ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm. Crazy that it fits right over oh, his ear. No. Must be pretty oh, light. You. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. That's a nice looking one. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. Yeah. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, not well, that one. This isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, Ah, hmm, perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks similar to the last one. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, Third this time's a charm. to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Uh, so is this where we get to change the type of stuff it is, or what? Oh yeah, okay. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. That one looks interesting. It's like... How intriguing. Mm. 
It was like a like a poker. <laughs> Curious indeed. Ah, uh, kind of tuned to this one. Well, let's go with the dark. Okay, so you can change this. I wonder what this does. Slightly yielding. Powerful magic. Assistant magic. Greater range of magic. Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. I don't know what's the point of choosing the, the one like this, though. Oh. How intriguing. Elm, Elder. Black walnut. Curious indeed. Fourteen and a half inches. You make this a really small wand. <laughs> How intriguing. Quite bendy. Unyielding. Yeah, let's go with some unyielding. I like unyielding. Sounds good. Greater range of magic. Ah, I guess we'll go with that. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Nice. Very good. So now we got a wand. That's good. Now we just gotta go get that last thing. So what do we need now? Do 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 this one right here. So let's go down here. So we gotta go into this shop. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. You just take people's stuff. I like it. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though mm -hmm. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. 
Is it not the most fascinating art, potion-making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Sounds good. What can I do for you today? <laughs> I love that. Uh, Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Fortunately, I'm in a rush today. Sorry. There we go. Got all of our new recipes. What is this? Oh, a bag of money. I like it. I like it. Visit the magic neep. One is the magic neep. This one right here. Looks like it's down yonder. Oh, there was a page there. I seen you. Where are you? Underneath here? Ah, here. Awesome. Well, hello there. Oh, hello to you, sir. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients, even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Hmm, sounds good. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. All right, let's go find Sebastian. Uh, quite a distance in town. See if we can find anything else along the way. So far, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, stupid pole. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Well, what was that? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me go, 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 let me go
Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Let me also. Let me also. Not uh, bad with the dodge, at least. What was that? Oh crap. A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Shit. Look out! Oh sh crap. That was good hit, buddy. Wearing him down. Oh. That was lucky. That's right, you lumbering lout. He's faltering. Do more hits to do the job. Big left. Hitting him with objects are pretty good though. Uh. How did you do that, laddie? A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you mm. are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you again. All right, so I guess we got to go fix some crap. Is that what we're going to do now? Uh, oh, hello, Repairer. I'll go and see what he wants. Good as new. Cool. Let's be helpful. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repair. Stack all the boxes back up in the corner here. Oh, that looks nice and neat. <laughs> Lucky they didn't do more damage. Bad, not bad. Get some stuff over here. And then, oh, was that a page? Uh, what was that? Rebellion. It is. Awesome. All right, and then there's this over here. Repower. Boom. I speak with the shopkeeper. All right. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hmm. Thanks for the cup of tea. <laughs> Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. 
I own glad rags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hey, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, let's His try voice. this on side, oh shall we? Oh my god. <laughs> it's the least I can do. Alright. I guess we gotta gear it up. And it would be this one right here. Nice. <clears throat> now, I should be able to sell my old one then, right? Yeah. Yeah, they said I shouldn't hold on to, like, useless items if I'm not going to use them. Just sell them. Because you can always redo the cosmic cosmetics on them. Yeah, we'll do that. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Oh, I sell even uh... more back Ravelli items. Should you be inclined? You're both welcome. my shop at your leisure. No worries, I'm sure I'll be back several times. Let's go have a beer, my friend. A Assuming butter it isn't beer. Assuming bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. You were just spotted by Did the they child. See us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yes, go hide in the bar. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> and come barging in like that. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Strange voice. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, how timely. Mm -hmm. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. 
Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. And I think on that note is where I'm going to end the episode. So we did pretty good. We went to Hogsmeade. Just some good stuff in here. All that wonderful troll action. That was actually a pretty cool battle, man. I enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe. Peace. Take care. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.